And our next speaker, Frederick Gillois from H5 Network. He's the president at H5 Network from France. He's going to tell us how we can get this done. Welcome. Hello, my name is Frederick Gillois. I'm the president of H5 Audits, H5 Network Performance Intelligence Solution. Uh, during that presentation, I will try to explain in the first part how we manage integration of H5 network and application performance intelligence into Zabbix. And in the second part, the presentation of H5 networks added value to Zabbix user using H5 appliance and H5 flow. So I will terminate this presentation with four customer use case of H5 metrics integrated into Zabbix. H5 is a French software company based in Paris and Bordeaux in France. So we develop H5 network monitoring probes to look at the traffic, NetFlow, SFlow collectors, and Cycling capture solution. We are able to follow a length of traffic from 100 megabits to 40 gigabits. And we are dealing with major European customers, big customers like uh, Thales and Space, Airbus Defense and Space and Space Agency and Electricity Company and so on in uh, Europe, but also in uh, customer out of Europe. We provide visibility on the application running on the, on the network to IT managers, network engineers uh, in mid-size or large company. For that, we are in different topics like uh, VIP deployment, data center consolidation or move, virtualization and server consolidation, implementation of SLA. Every time when a company needs to have visibility about what is running on the network. The challenge of H5 network performance intelligence is to provide the right information in the right format to different people in the company. The way of accessing the data can be different depending on the profile of the user. If we are dealing with network engineers, these guys need to have full access to all data, quick access, and can use in technical stuff. If we are discussing with these IT managers, member of the board, for example, can need to have dedicated template to be able to provide information to other people in the company or to a board of directors. If we are dealing with business people or network operation center and this kind of people, so need to have this information maybe into Zabbix. So this is a reason why we decide to put on this information in a different way, the client, Java client, the web reporting, of this with this Zabbix integration we met. The integration opportunity we had with was to expand Zabbix with NPI data to bridge the gap between the supervision and the monitoring. Everybody knows that Zabbix can get information using SNMP and give you a graph on the bandwidth in and the bandwidth out on the network link. H5 metrics providing to Zabbix will enrich Zabbix with details regarding who is using the link, which IP, which protocol, flow on network throughput on the main link on remote site per application, server restore time for an application, aggregated TCP, VOIP, or real time metrics or per flow on TCP, VoIP, RTT metrics, but also dynamic and cyclic packet capture buffer. How does it work? So with these tools, we feed Zabbix with H5 system. We feed the big database with more than 70 volume and performance metrics for deeper visibility using our H5 SOAP API. H5 Flow is a NetFlow SFlow collectors 
which aggregate NetFlow ISFlow UDP tickets from network device and provide volume metrics. And we can put down that metrics into Dabix. A Tribe appliance on the right of this draw provide metrics analysis on real-time network traffic flow, volume, performance, but also packet capture. H5 templates allow the capacity to aggregate and consolidate multi H5 flow and H5 appliance data reports into Zabex. H5 enrich Zabbix templates with volume and performance metrics. Information are available per IP, per site, per VLAN, etc. etc. Any information available into H5 tools, H5 flow or H5 appliance can be displayed into Zabbix using the open API. Let's talk about the first use case we have here. It's a one capacity planning use case. So you have on the right, the data center with the server hosted in the data center. On the left, you have all the remote sites with the users. You have a one. And on the link, connected the one to the data center, we put the H5 solution. The H5 solution will capture application flow from one link traffic produce metrics and feed H5 NPI reports and analytics for more troubleshooting. This analytics reports will be available on tools H5 performance reporter or into Zabbix to augment the one capacity planning. The capacity planning dashboard is, is displayed here. So you can see here the SNMP information you can get on Dabix getting that from the network equipment, the SNMP. And with H5, you will get NPI information on the network. If you zoom on that, you will have information about which IP are running on the network, what throughput per IP, on which protocol. So you'd be able to see there is a big bandwidth on that. This is the top five IP running on that and the application running then. So you can see WebEx, Zoom, what you want as an application, even if it's application, it is an HTTPS application. On this cloud monitoring use case, not the same draw that we had before with the data center for the one capacity, but a different way to do the business. Here you have the users and you are looking not on the one link, but on the link going to internet. All these users are using application hosted in the cloud. You can see AWS applications, SAP, SAP Office 365, Salesforce, and, and so on. So we look at the traffic here, and we decode the application, and we send this application into H5 and Zabbix to be able, on, as mentioned, on that specific dashboard, you see the cloud monitoring internet link with the throughput in, throughput out. And you can get on this specific template all the information about the quality of the communication. For example, on that you get cloud access data loss, the number of packet loss, loss on the link. This data loss will have an impact on the quality of the of the communication. You can measure fair measurement on the delay also and put a graphic with cloud access delay. You can also make measurement on the number of connections on that specific website and make a measurement on the cloud fake connections. The difference between the cloud fake connection and the cloud connection is can be a good um, status on the quality. And after that, if you need it, you can have a specific table with the different website of subservice. So you can display with the different metrics available on H5 into Zabbix. This is the third case, use case that we mentioned, very popular at the moment due to the COVID-19. Everybody's using Teams, Skype, Zoom, or TOIP solution video and so on. And 
what we do, we look at this application, specific application of video and, and WebEx and so on and Teams, and we can produce that metrics the same way. Put the metrics into H5 and put them into Zabbix. So you can have, for example, uh, on that specific Teams dashboard, you will get throughput in, bandwidth in, bandwidth out on your internet link. But also something very important on that, the packet loss, because the packet loss on the link is very important for that, especially when you are using an application running on the network uh, in the cloud, like Teams, because this application is a real-time application. Oops, if there is some packet loss, you need to find very quickly where are the packet loss. Are the packet loss are lost on the site, MSFT tenant side, or the packet loss lost on the enterprise side. If you are on the enterprise side, is maybe you can fix the problem. If you are on the other side, maybe you need to open a ticket with your telco and so on. And it may be much, much more complicated. You need to fix that. You need to know about that. About the delay, that's the same as the packet loss. The delay is something very interesting on that kind of application because this is the delay is a factor which can impact the quality of the teams. So you need to know if it's a, the same sign that the packet loss, if you have a MSFT tenant delay or enterprise tenant delay. This one is the last and fourth use case that I would like to share with you today. This is the way how we do, uh, what we do with AWS VPC flow logs Then we get from Amazon and we change the format of that, we send this to uh, our solution uh, using conversion to H5 Net, to NetFlow, and we feed our tools with this information. This is very useful because we know when you put something in the cloud, you don't have any information about what about the bandwidth and this kind of traffic, so what is using which application, which sub-application on the AWS environment. So what we do, we do the same that we do with the other a uh, solution, the one, the, the Teams application on the cloud application, we do the same with AWS. So if you have different VPC in the cloud, we can have information about with VPC you are using VPC1, VPC2 for the HQ, VPC2 for the VPNs, and make measurements, dedicate specific measurements on the throughput and the bandwidth use and number of connection per VPC. Uh, normally, you don't get this information by the network, but with the capacity and the job we did, so we transformed this AWS uh, VPC log to NetFlow and fit our tools with NetFlow. So this is the last case I have to mention today, and I, uh, I would be very happy to discuss with you, with you further and deeper and go deeper into the demo during the uh, Zoom or uh, team session with you guys. Thank you very much and to you soon. Bye bye. And thank you. Um, it's question time. So let's see what kind of questions we have received. Um, so uh, biggest challenge in integrating Zabbix with H5. Could you help us answer that one? Yes, do you hear me? Uh, yes, we can hear you, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, the bigger challenge for the for the integration of H5 into Zabbix is to uh, is to know what uh, the customer really needs because you know when with on the H5 side we present a lot a, a lot of different metrics about the throughput volume performance metrics and so on so we need to we discuss with the customers what the, the what do they need for that you know they want to see the packet loss they want to see the transition time, the server response time, and so on. So we need to discuss that. In When we get this, we can export all our different metrics into uh, Zabbix and make specific report on that. So that's the big, the big point we need to fix first. It is to discuss with the customer what do they really need.
Mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess it's essentially an issue in the design phase, correct? It's kind of designing together with the customer what, what metrics you need before you know, sure. get to the technicalities. Yeah, sure, sure. Because most of the customer we are working with, they have some trouble with the network regarding the packet loss on the one, the transaction time on the internet, and they need to make measurement on that. Mm -hmm. So we can discuss with them and produce a good metrics and fit the metric into the Abix to be able to, to um, make uh, more information into Zabbix uh, template with our metrics. Mm -hmm. um, we have a question. Um, one of our community members is asking, um, have the, has this integration, uh, have they um, forced you to make, uh, let me, Sorry, let me try and reiterate that quite a complex question. So do you have some examples of decisions that were made thanks to the integration, uh, some decisions that improved the infrastructure? So you integrated and then you decided that, hey, we, we can make some improvements because of this on the infrastructure level. Oh, just about, about that question, this, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I understand your question specifically right so now. So how has this but... affected, how integrating with, with H5 has affected the infrastructure layer? Oh, you mean, what question is regarding the infrastructure layer, level? You mean, so um, about the way we, we, we push the data into Zabbix, yes, you mean? Yes, 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 yes. yes. So what we do, we know, you know, everybody knows Zabbix in, in this today. So what we do, we push our information into Zabbix. Mm -hmm. And that means if you get information from one um, central site, because when we put a H5 solution on the network, for example, probes, we put on the big link, we produce our metrics and we make a decision on which metric do we need to push into Zabbix. So we make that decision and we feed. Zabbix database with our, with, with our metric. So the impact on the infrastructure is very small because mm -hmm. we just we just feed with the metrics that we need to feed to Zabbix, okay? All our metrics are stored into our solutions and we just feed Zabbix with the metrics we need. So there is a, a very small impact when you do that way because you know there is no database moving on the network, just uh, the metrics we need to feed to Zabbix. Mm -hmm. And that is a good thing. That makes things a bit more simpler that you don't have to redesign your whole infrastructure when you're using such yeah. a solution. Yes, because one other point I would like to, to add on that, it is that as mentioned during the presentation, we have different people using our tools. Mm -hmm. Some of them are network engineers, so they need to access all the data and to make reports very quickly because they have a customer on, online and so on. And we can have IT manager who are interested in one specific report, but the other guy, more interesting with that, it has the guy, the people in charge of Zabbix who have a lot of different metrics. Mm -hmm. It just want to have this specific metrics, which is available into H5 solution. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you a lot. I think this was very educational. And I think um, you should probably keep an eye out on the Q&A section. Maybe people will be interested after hearing these answers and some more detailed questions, and I'll be throwing some questions your way. So see you there. See you in the Q&A section. Um, thank you again.